38 now, and at this time we continue our exclusive look at Billy Joel's tour of the Soviet Union. Our guide, today's music correspondent, Rona Elliott. She joins us this morning from our London studios. Good morning, Rona. Good morning, Brian. The Billy Joel tour attracted worldwide attention, and with it came enormous pressure, some of it financial. The concert tour cost Joel more than $2 million, money he hopes to recoup from an HBO concert special and a primetime TV documentary. But it also took its toll emotionally, as Joel was determined to give the people of the Soviet Union an experience they would never forget. In Moscow, the Billy Joel tickets went quickly, with more than half sold to trade and union groups with lucky fans buying up the rest. Scalpers exist too, but some were still disappointed. Despite the assurance of a sellout, Billy Joel was under pressure. He wanted to deliver the same show he'd been on the road with for nearly a year, and at times it was tough. Some American press reported Billy threw a tantrum, an incident that was both exaggerated and misinterpreted, which Joel sought to explain after the show. I was yelling at my own people. Let me tell you what happened. To get this tour here, it cost a lot of money. We tried to get sponsors to underwrite us. A lot of them were too chicken to do this. So the only way I could get the money to do this was to get a, make a film which we're gonna try to sell. And I thought the audience was being lit too much. And I know people in an audience like to be in the dark. They wanna be in the dark. They wanna do their own thing. They wanna get loose. They wanna feel great. So you are taking a financial bath, but as you said, it's not about the money. So would you elaborate on that a little bit? I don't wanna make money. I don't wanna lose money. I'll be happy to break even. Hey, if I make money, I'm from capitalist country, that's okay too, but I don't wanna exploit the situation. We're filming, we're making a movie too, and a documentary. And we, we're, we have to do the filming to cover the costs of, of, of everything else. How do you feel about just managing to pull this whole thing off? I feel really proud. I'm really glad that we're here. There's sometimes I said, why did, why did I do this? Why did I, you know, get this to happen? Uh, everybody's had to ask themselves that a number of times, but the, the night of the show, at the end of the show, when the kids were just like rock and roll kids anywhere, like they could be in Detroit, Michigan. That's what made it worth it. The Soviet press couldn't get enough of Billy Joel. They interviewed him and showed his videos on TV the week before his concerts. It's what she wants you to see. She hides like a child, but she's always a woman to me. The Soviet media also came out in full force for a Billy Joel press conference, but the questions they asked were often, to Billy's dismay, non-musical. I know who I vote for. Я знаю, за кого я бы проголосовал. But I'm not going to say it here. Но я не собираюсь сейчас это говорить. That's why we have a secret ballot. A secret, a secret ballot. Does anybody have a question about music? Do you think this music has special meaning for the Russians? Rock and roll? I think it has special meaning for young people especially. Um, it's when I first heard rock and roll, you know, there was a backlash against it in the States in the late 50s, early 60s. Our parents didn't want us to hear it, supposedly. Um, it's the same thing here. I went out to the audience and touched people. And, it was, and they saw it was okay to touch me. And they said, oh, that's okay with him? And they do it out of politeness also. Um, because they don't want to interfere with the performance. But if they know that's okay, then it, it, it builds and it grows. Three final concerts in Leningrad sold out as well. There, the Soviets invited Billy to appear on their famous TV show, The Ring, where musicians play and answer questions from the audience. It was standing room only when Billy turned away from the piano to play a Bob Dylan classic. And it's 
said that soon you'll be drenched to the bone. If your time to you is worth saving, then you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone. All the times they are aging. The high point of the tour for Joel's team was the first live radio show simulcast in the U.S. and the USSR. The satellite broadcast the other night was historic. You played to millions of people here in Russia and millions of people in America. How was that experience for you emotionally? That was one of the emotional high points, to know that kids in the States were listening to kids here in the Soviet Union cheering. My gut feeling is what it was all along. People are people. Uh, people need to express themselves. People need to enjoy themselves. People need to just let go. The HBO special begins airing October 24th. Tomorrow, Billy Joel talks very personally about his life and how he really sees himself. Bryant? Okay, Ronald.